Hi guys, welcome to day 24 of Scout Lockdown. Uh, we're going to do some more basic map reading today. Hope you enjoy um, and uh, see what you can do at home. Thank you. So today we're going to learn a bit of basic map reading. We're going to start with a grid reference. Uh, so we're going to learn a grid reference, but before we do that, if you've got a map, I would like you to um, look at the key. Uh, the key will be either on the side of the map or along the top, mine's along the top, and that will tell you what all the different map symbols will mean. Because I haven't got my map symbol cards with me because I'm fortunate to set up Scout Hut. But that's all the map symbols there. So have a look, see if you can learn some. And we're going to focus on putting that into use and finding our way around the map. You can see there's lots of grid reference there. Lots of grids there. So we're going to see if we can do a grid reference. That's all the little squares you can see around the map. We're going to start with a four digit grid reference. So on your map you'll notice that there's numbers along the bottom and numbers going up the side. And there's a nice easy saying, along the corridor and up the stairs. Or along the corridor and down the stairs if you're working with the numbers at the top of the map. So the number to the left of the square is always the number which re refers to the number to the square to the right of the number. So this is 28 all the way up to here, this is 29 all the way up to here and 30 all the way up to there. And then going up the number at the bottom refers to the square above it. So 62 goes all the way up to there, and 63 goes all the way up to there. Now we're going to start with this parking spot here, next to the church or the tower. We know it's a tower, because a bird's eye view of a church or a tower is a square, and a bird's eye view with a church with a spiral is a circle. So that's when you're looking down from above. So we want to go to the car park here, and we're going to start with a four-digit grid reference. So that car park would be 28 and 62. So there's 28 and 62. If we now pretend this is a six digit grid reference, we have to pretend that this square here, it's got lots and lots and lots of tiny squares like this inside it. And the easier way to do that is work out where the middle is, because we know that's going to be 5, and work where the middle is on the bottom, because we know that's going to be 5. And then we can work out where 1, 2, 3, 4. And you've got to use your imagination for this. So we applied that to this car park. We can see this is 0, because this is 28. Coming along, that's a 3. So that makes this one now 28, 3. And then, as we said, 62, we have to now pretend that we're going up with the, with the invisible lines. So we work out where 5 is, and then we know that's 6 and 7. So we know now we're at 62, 7. So we would write that, a 4 digit grid reference, like this, 28, 62 it's 28 by 62 and we would write the six digit reference like this 28 3 62 7 and that will be the six digit reference so that again 28 because we're going this side so 28 3 62 7 because we've used our invisible lines. So if we're going to do this one down here, we know it's 29. It's nearly to the end, so it will be 29, 9. And we're still on the same square, so it'll be 62. And then it's up 1, so 62, 1. So we would write that 29, 9, 62, one. If we went up to the follow the footpath up to where we were meeting our leaders on the base, you can see this is actually on the line. So that's halfway along. 
So we're staying here at 29. So it's 29, 5, because it's in the middle. And it's 63, but it's on the line. So that makes it a zero. So that's now 29, 5, 63, 0. So we've got to imagine those invisible grids. If you've got a map at home, have a go. Uh, see if you can do a six digit grid reference. Thank you for watching. Stay home. Stay safe. So guys, I've got a little challenge challenge for you. If you have the Exmoor 9 map, Barnstable, Linton, Minehead and Doverton, and you have it on the Barnstable Ilfragium side, see if you can find these grid references for me. And see what you find. Make sure you look at your key to know what the symbols are. And have a go at home. See if you can find out what's at those, those locations. And then afterwards, why not get a member of your family to set you some and then see what you can find. Thank you for watching. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay safe and stay at home.